You know, it's funny. The day before Minecraft Steve's announcement, I was reading speculation articles, you know, seeing where the leaks or the guesses were at, and then I stumbled on one that said Suda51 had changed his answer when asked about wanting Travis and Smash. It went from something like, oh, oh, I'd love it, to a uh, no comment, dude, no comment. That seemed like a pretty reasonable hint. I was getting very excited. Surely, if not the announcement tomorrow, one of the final fighters has to be Travis Touchdown. <sighs> Then the Steve moveset livestream happened, and I could feel the monkey's paw curl another finger. Oh well, let's still show off his games. Licensed by Nintendo. Ubisoft, the maker of Rabbids and uh, probably other stuff, I think. Marvelous Entertainment Incorporated. Grasshopper Manufacture. Punk is not dead. Ubisoft presents. Wait for it. A flag of an unknown, probably made up country. It's probably. No more heroes. Welcome, everybody, to No More Heroes 1. A very different kind of game. Very not what I'm used to, at least showing off. <laughs> it's not an RPG. It's pretty action oriented. Directed by Suda51, maker, producer, director of plenty of other classics like Killer7, Killer is Dead, the Fire Pro Wrestling series. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that one wrestling game the Grumps played. This is a wild ride of a game, so let's just get into it, shall we? We're going to select mild difficulty. I haven't played this game in a long time, and I haven't beaten it to unlock the hardest difficulty, so we'll stick on normal. Luckily, it's still moderately a challenge, especially while talking. So, let's just get on our way. Travis taking a nice stroll down onto his bike. His, his kind of goofy, bulky, <laughs> weird motorcycle, but I love it. And I'll be quiet as we learn the story of the game. I know a lot of gamers out there don't have much patience. At least that's what Bishop, the dude at the video store, said. So I'm at the register, then I realize I got no money. I was seriously broke. Why? Because I met this smoking hot chick last night at the deathmatch bar. Man, she smelled good. So being the gentleman I am, I bought her a drink. Anywho, I decided to get a job. The gig? Assassinate the drifter. So I went where I was supposed to and waited for the guy to show up. And there he was, this cat. Well-dressed, cool, couldn't tell if he was the shit or just plain all shit. Yeah, so he's styling, fast, aggressive, and packing heat. Bada bing. Or at least it was supposed to be. Till she showed up. Her name? Sylvia Crystal, an agent with this Watchamacallit Association. Congratulations. You are certified as the 11th best hitman. How about getting rid of the 10 killers above you and aim for the top? I want to be number one. How's that? Short and simple enough for you? It's gonna be a long, hard road. But who knows? Could kick ass. Could be dangerous. Could totally suck. What do you say, bro? Join me. Let's see how far we can take this. And for you there holding the Wii remote right now, just press the A button. Let the bloodshed begin. Yo, help me out here. 
Where's this death metal dude? <laughs> Bad answer. Oh. Uh. It's game time! And with that, we light up our beam katana. That was a wonderful intro. If you have not noticed by now, No More Heroes is a game of over-the-top, stupid anime bullshit that I love. That I love oh so much. It's not the prettiest. May not even be the funniest, but it is just enjoyably dumb and goofy. Travis, as you can see, is kind of an idiot himself. He's just, he's just cutting people up and kicking down doors. His game plan was to, I don't know, crash his entire motorcycle into a fountain. Just, yeah, it'll probably be fine, whatever. Travis don't give a fuck about nothing. The, the plot, plot pretty simple. Kill 10 people to become the top ranked assassin. Gonna be fun. The combat, as you're about to see, Oh wow, the first hit I get a hack and slash clue. Okay, well, I'm bad at explaining things. I totally skipped the tutorial, but I'm going to explain how it works because it's not terribly complicated. The gameplay is not... I, it's not a character action game. It's not a Devil May Cry. It's not a Bayonetta. It's nothing too terribly complex. It's a... I'm going to describe it as a stylistic hack and slash. I would kind of call it on about similar difficulty levels of Kingdom Hearts, but maybe I'm downplaying that game too much because I don't really like them. Travis has pretty basic options. He can swing, and he can hit. He can swing high. If you can see at the top right, there's a high-low um, indicator on the HUD, depending on where you hold the Wii Remote or what button you press on the PS3, from what I recall. Uh, he enters a high-low stance, and that changes the swings you get. Here's a low swing. Here's a high swing. It's very quick if it's a high swing. Right there, if you kill someone, you get or uh, if you get someone to low HP, you get an execution blow. Hit, which just absolutely cleaves people. But if you get their health low, you get the execution, where you get to swing the re the Wii Remote in a certain direction, and that'll instigate a killing below. If other people get caught in the way, they also more than likely get killed. That's just telling us where to go. We have the high... So the high-low mechanic not only gives us different slashes, but also, depending on what the enemies have, some enemies have swords, which allow them to block attacks, and there's two ways to counteract that, which will hopefully run into more... will more than likely run into more sword guys in a moment. Uh, I think it told us to go that way, so let's go this way instead. Simple, you know, find the secret thing. Got money, which we're going to need a lot of money, by the way, later on. This is a big mansion of, I believe it's death metal that we're looking for. He's somewhere in here. We're going to find him and we're going to, you know, you know, kick him. Right there, we got a battery charge. Battery is a mechanic, also the <laughs> It is a mechanic in a video game. Wow. Basically, your your lightsaber, your beam katana, whatever you want to call it, runs on batteries, and once it runs out, you can't really swing at people. You can find power-ups like that. Alright, so this guy has a sword. And he should block low attacks. Okay, he's not guarding at all. Very nice. Do the execution blow, swing the rear mouth the right direction. Luckily, they're going to come out a few at a time. Are you going to block? Okay, so this guy is guarding high, so if I hold the high stance and swing, they block. It also takes out an okay amount of battery. I should probably explain that soon, but let me finish this. If you swing high, they keep blocking it. If you swing low... Okay, Bob, can we... I, I don't want to do this. Okay, so what that guy is doing... but rudely interrupting me is we're doing a clash we're swinging at the same time and we gotta w waggle the Wii remote and if we do that then we get to just instantly go to the execution state this guy is guarding high so what we're going to do is we're going to swing 
low, that'll hit. But what you can also do is punch. Punch breaks guard. Well, I say punch. It's called a beat attack. Uh, it also has a high-low stance. If someone's guarding high and you hit them with a high beat attack, it instantly puts, puts them into the stun state if you go for another beat attack. You go for wrestling moves. Let's go. Oh. This was one of my favorite things. Ugh, DDTs. Instant execution when they're on the ground, nice. This was one of my favorite parts of No More Heroes whenever I got this game many, many years ago from a blockbuster. Just being able to randomly stun people and, well, it seemed randomly when I was a kid, but being able to stun people and perform wrestling moves at the time when I was a big wrestling fan was awesome. It was amazing. Now I can do a low, which is a kick, which kicks up high, which is very confusing, which doesn't stun. Or I can do a high and do the punch. Oh my god. And if I do that while they're guarding high, it instantly sends them into the stun state. And we can do another perfect plex. Uh, drop them right on their head. Press A for a quick execution. And also, instead of just predicting the right direction that they're guarding, this guy's guarding low, doing the low beat attack, and then we go for another DDT. Uh. Also, there's a lock on button, as was, you know, common in pretty much every game now. If you're holding the guard button, you block attacks. Some attacks you can't guard, but uh, right now these are beginning guys, so pretty much everything you can guard. Guarding also takes battery away, so keep an eye on that. You get a dodge roll. Um, only while you're locked on, though, otherwise it just works the camera. But, what I was going to say is that... Okay, let me let me clear the field a little bit. There's a couple too many guys. Oh my god. Delicious, delicious gore. Heads popping off. Insane, ridiculous blood splatter. It's great. Now, what I was going to say is you can guess which way they're guarding correctly. You can punch or swing, depending. You want to do the opposite for swinging. You want to do what they're guarding with to break it. Or you can just hold the beat attack, if I would stop getting interrupted, and it'll automatically stun them no matter which way they're guarding. It takes a long time to charge, but you can charge it. Eh. You can also... <laughs> you can also do big spins while kicking. Alright guys, can we... can we... can we... are we... are we good? Are we good? Alright, that should hopefully hit both. Oh, I missed both. The hitbox for the execution hitting other people is a little wonky. That's something to keep out an eye open for. Right there! We got the... We got the slot. Every time you perform an execution attack, the slot will... Uh... Spin. And if you do it, you get to go into a variety of different attack. And I talked all the way over and I couldn't even show off what it does. There are a bunch of different... <laughs> we got it again! We got triple cherries. It's the same one. But Travis goes absolutely nuts. I don't think his attacks can be guarded in this state. I will have to double check what all of the uh, different slots give you. We're gonna go for fully charged beat attack. We're gonna do DDT and then go. Uh. Not too terribly complicated though. It's on a Wii remote. You got swings, you got punches. They offer a little bit of variety and people guarding up and down, and there's, you know, uh, a purpose to doing each little thing. There's not much combo potential, besides just hitting the same button over. You can get different beat attacks depending on when you hit the beat button in a sword combo. Combo. I'd call it like a Dragon Ball Auto combo, honestly. And you also, I believe you get different variations of attacks uh, depending on the sword you get. Because you do in fact get different blade beam katanas. Right now we have the Blood Berry. Which is fun. But we'll see those much, much later. Right now, we're just gonna keep going on. More goons. These guys have knuck. These guys have little brass knuckles. They look like blades. They look like actually like laser blades, like uh, the beam katana. But I don't think they can really guard while having that type of weapon. Only swords can. Blueberry cheese brownie. <laughs> The game now becomes a first-person shooter, well, a third-person shooter, where you're shooting 
fireballs, you get no access to the beat attack. But it just absolutely decimates pretty much everyone on screen. What a pain! Last thing I think there really is to talk about is moveset is you can hold down your sword for charged sword slashes. This was not a room that I don't think I need. Oh, no, I guess it was. Okay, we just need to head down there now. Path just open, you know. You know, hack and slash, beat him up, just kill everyone and the path will reveal itself. Nothing bad, no real exploring except for, I guess, little bonuses. Yeah, we came this way. But we get a charge attack. We get one in the low stance, which is the sweeping katana, good for people on the sides of you. And we have the high stance. A big overhead. It has a lot of reach. It can... I feel like I catch multiple people in it more than I do with the with the low stance, but maybe that's just me. I did... I, I say I hadn't played this in a long time, but I did play this first chapter before, uh, you know, starting this episode. Just to get a little familiarity, because I feel like the basics, you might, you might as well explain the basics while we're here. Grand Berry Chocolate Sunday. We go into execution mode, I like to call it. If we get close to someone, we get a button prompt. I press the wrong button again. If we get the button prompt wrong, I... I don't know where the C button... <laughs> if we get it wrong, just like I did every single time, maybe I'll show off one thing properly, eventually. Ooh. Strawberry on the shortcake! This mode, pretty much everything's one hit KO, and you get to you get to pick the direction you want to execute people. And he got a nice, uh, he got that, you know popular of the time, uh, referencing Super Saiyajin, Super Saiyan Goku, if I could get the camera to work with me. He, he got the yellow hair, and it's back to normal. <laughs> the longer you hold, it, hold down a charge attack, the better it is. Oh, the AI is a little smart, they know how to get out of the way, but if this if this lands, cleave, don't even have to go into the execution state. I prefer the low stance. It does, I don't know. I like how fast the uh, high is, but it feels like you have to do more hits because it's so fast. Alright, if I can get this right this time. This, there it is. They cower in fear and Travis gets a new execution move. They're supposed to be different depending on the button you get. But the game is... Okay. The game is giving me different ones. I don't know why. Sadness. Just go for a light and then we can go into a wrestling move. Another DDT. We will get a lot more wrestling moves. I promise you. There's also a lot more in the sequel. Eh. <laughs> Uh, the Dragon Plex, the full Nelson Suplex. Drop them on their neck. I love a good Suplex. As I'm sure many do. This is that's generally the basic wrestling move everyone gets introduced to. We block low, so I just gotta kick him. Give him a perfect plex. Well, I guess I'll kill your friend because you were in the way. Eh. Go through some quick slashes. Don't need, always need to throw people. Sometimes it's easy to just, you know, do what's basic. Now, oh wait, we have talked about the clash before. Uh, heads clobbered. Let's see what we get in the chest. Another trading card, just collectibles here and there. I'm not going to 100% this game, but I, don't, I mean, if I see it, I'll pick it up. I'm not going to say no. Yeah. Yes. All right. Now, from what I remember, we're just kind of clearing out goons, so I think I'll take this time to talk about Travis himself. I don't have a lot of trivia. I'm not the best at trivia, 
nor am I that fascinated by it, but one thing I am uh, relatively fascinated by is voice actors. It's, it's, it's fun to like draw the pieces and see where uh, people are from and what they do. And Travis's voice actor, Robert Atkin Downs. Done, uh, he's, been, he's been around, he, he's been around for a couple decades doing a lot of, a lot of si I'd call him side voices. He's done a lot of background characters in a uh, regular show. He's someone named Gary, I don't exactly remember what that was, I kind of dropped off of that show. Uh, he's Luxord in, uh, what is that bad, oh yeah, that, that bad game I was just talking about, No More Heroes, or uh, Kingdom Hearts. He was Luxord in Kingdom Hearts since pretty much his introduction to the character. But what I think is the most interesting and enjoyable that I find is that he's he's Zemedic from Team Fortress 2, which I think is a pretty cool indication of. How, I don't remember what the C button is. I'm not playing. I'm playing on a dolphin. So everything's map. What? you talking about? Thank you. Oh my God, that was amazing. Robert Adkin Downs, voice of Travis, voices Medic in Team Fortress 2, which I think is cool, and honestly, I could never ever tell unless you pointed it out, which I think just goes to show how, like, r how much range, how much vocal range, uh, Rob, uh, Mr. Downs hat. <laughs> That's a bad name to call him. <laughs> Mr. Robert Atkins. Holy schmoly, I'm stupid. Alright, time for a gimmick. I'm gonna be quiet. Hey Travis, your rank 5 begins just up ahead. Win, and you will be 10th. Lose, and 10th away. Are you up to this? Need a bathroom break? Whatever you need to do, do it with now. Your opponent, some call him the Holy Sword. He is good. But I know you can take it. You are the man. I am the tiger. He only looks tough because his mother was an ugly bitch. Take it to the red zone. A certain way at full throttle. Unleash your power. Show no mercy. Bring me death metal dead. Enter when you are prepared to fight. I believe in you and perform. Now, off to the garden of madness. All right, now what that was was uh, dumb nonsense Wii compatibility. Uh, make the new program, make the uh, new hardware do the new thing. Uh, we got a phone call there from Sylvia, and it was coming out of the Wii remote. If I was not playing on the dolphin, and it's a little quiet, and that's about as loud as I can make it. I'll probably you know tune it up a little bit in editing. But uh, yeah, she was just giving us a little pep talk. She's a she's a crazy crazy gal, which we'll we'll talk about more later. But uh, yeah, normally this happens right before we're about to go into the boss, which is right here. We get some health. We get full battery on our beam katana, and. A mask. Travis, do you remember those golden days in Calgary? The path of pro wrestling that you've long forgotten. If even a fragment of the spirit of a wrestler remains in your blood, remember the first suplex that your master taught you. Yes, that's right. The darkness piercing. Front. Neck. Chancery. Drop. Signed, MS. You remembered an old professional wrestling move! Yay! I think this is used specifically for the boss, and then I believe you get to use it. It's randomly assigned to uh, be the wrestling move executions on the enemies. Let's go drop a save. Now, how, how do you save in a game like this? By taking a shit. You know... Go to the bathroom, take a brief, a brief reprieve of all the events that happened. 
it's calm and safe on the toilet for some people. Some people enjoy it more than others. <sighs> Drop a save. I'll refresh. Don't wash our hands. In fact, don't even take off our glove. That's disgusting. <laughs> Get more full health and more max battery. It's also weird. Our... Okay. So, I'm actually hitting the sword button to do this. Travis has a whole moveset without his sword, but there's never really any point in the game where you're fighting without your sword. So I don't know why they did that. But, let's move on to death metal. Quite beautiful, wouldn't you say? Paid for with the lives of many. When you have the strength to take life for yourself, that is true wealth. I am free of desire. So long as I have this scenery to look upon, I need nothing more. Please leave me be. You're the one leaving. In a body bag. I'll only say this once more. Leave here now! Huh. Me leave? You obviously don't know me. You don't get it, do you? Hey, you know what paradise is, right? Paradise. This is paradise. The place where dreams are fulfilled. Well, you've had your dream, old man. Time to wake up! This is no paradise. All right. Then what is it? A place to die. Huh. I'm glad you and I are on the same page here. So naive. You have no idea, do you? What a pity. You make an old man cry. Arrogant, crude little shits like you come around from time to time. Listen well, young one. The wall is high, higher than you will ever know. Ultimate sacrifice is sublime. Now draw! Huh. You can take that to your grave! Death Metal, the first boss of No More Heroes, wielding the Orange 2. A, a cleaver looking as beam saber. It's got the same beam properties that are right at the edge of it, so it cuts just like ours. Big ass house, fast cars, dining in style with a world class chef and trusty nutritionist counting every calorie. A team of hot yoga instructors to keep me in shape. Nurses to attend to my body. Maids and loyal servants at my beck and call. On the weekends, Ten games knocking on my door every two hours. Every day full of excitement and luxury. Everything in its right place. It's the life. It's the life of winners. That'll be my life. I thirst for selflessness. Hypocrites lusting for their own desire to be killed by young ones like me. This is how it goes down. And for the old killers, they'll croak anyway. I guess you can call this a comedy. I realize there's really nothing here for me. But what else can I do but keep going? Maybe I should have been a little more careful before I jumped in. Gotta find the exit. Gotta find that exit to paradise. But I can't see it. Can't see anything. There's this sense of doom running down my spine. I can see. Like it's trying to suck the life out of me. I need to get rid of it before I bail. Something deeper, deeper than my instincts is taunting me. Can't find the exit. Can't find the exit. Can't find the exit. Can't find the exit. 
Alright, that was something that I had forgotten about, that Travis sometimes would go on these monologues. And I don't know if I should be keeping those in or not. I'll figure... <laughs> Let me know in the comments, I guess, if you want to keep that in or not. Death Metal! Wielder of the Orange 2, a cleaver beam katana has the same properties of our, of our beam katana at the very edge of the, uh, of the blade. It's apparently... A parody on Apple products because it's the orange 2 similar to iPhone 2, 3, 4, whatever you want it. If you look closely, I should hopefully be pulling up some fan art, there is an orange symbol or like an orange sticker in the same format shape of the Apple logo. <laughs> God, I got so distracted by that monologue thing, my brain's just kind of scrambled. Uh, he is the first boss, he's not terribly hard. I, <laughs> I say as I get absolutely destroyed in the clash. Um, he's not terribly hard. If you avoid his attacks, he'll be very vulnerable. And in fact, we can use it. Nothing ever goes right, does it? All right, quickly tutorial: how to recharge your katana. Press the one button on the Wii remote or whatever button on the PlayStation M3 controller, and then shake that, shake that Wii remote. Oh fuck! Fuck! No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Shake that Wii remote. <laughs> okay, full power. And now we just go back to wailing on him. We did a quick guard break, and now we can do what our teacher taught us. Uh, that's a classic suplex. Have you ever seen wrestling before? Right there, if you tap a direction while being swung at, uh, right before you're hit, instead of guarding, you will do a just dodge, and that'll put you in, I'd call it a witch time, that lets you get in free hits on the enemy. Uh, went into execution mode, doesn't kill bosses in one hit, that'd be a little broken. We just have to look for openings, generally when he's in that pose with it over his head. Uh. Now I believe if he goes into his rapid slashes again. Right? Okay, well I'm getting this off. He sh <laughs> Go for another quick suplex, drop him on his back. There's a battery pickup and health pickup over there and over there. Once he gets to the lower third percent, he duplicates himself. Or triplicates himself, I guess. Which can make the fight a little more chaotic. They luckily are pretty good about going in one at a time. They have a lot less health than the boss, obviously. He's guarding just like we are. He's not a generic goon. I don't remember if there's like a specific way you have to hit him. I don't know if he has a different guard stance. I think it's more just about uh, looking for openings. <laughs> he made a dink sound on my kick. Even behind his traps can guard, he's very impressive. Alright, we got one clone. I'm gonna get this real quick. This is good so you don't have to, you know, do what I did and scramble around and try and... Relieve your <laughs> beam katana. Another clash. This should do a lot of damage to the clones. Let's get rid of the clones, I figure it's a lot easier. Right there, you saw that I did a beat attack at a different stage my, uh, after my katana attack. That actually leads to different... Uh, beat attacks, which don't really have too many different properties, but it is visually different, which is kind of cool. Alright, he's about a third of his health, and he should fight us like normal. Uh, 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 uh. Should get a follow up? Oh no. Bum, bum. Going for another. Going for another suplex. He's at one health, one hit should finish him off. He's trying to go for the health himself, I guess. Ooh! Get him with the cleave! Extraordinary. The moment I've been waiting for. The name, Holy Sword, is now yours. You're joking, right? I don't care about titles or power. I just want to be number one. 
Then master the ways of the assassin. Here's your ticket to paradise, old man. I gotta say, for first boss, he's kind of tame, but he has a pretty radical design that I <laughs> enjoy a lot. I love the back tattoo. I love all the piercing. He's just he's just kind of out there. It's very different, and I enjoy it a lot. Especially, j just it's creative. Plus the execution, where if if I can look, his sword should be like up there somewhere still. <laughs> He chopped off his. <laughs> There's one of the hands. He chopped off his hands. The sword went up. It was. Di it's poised. The camera direction is very nice. It's cool, just like us, because we're playing as Travis. So we're cool. That we're cool. Fuck, fuck. Huh, huh. We're cool. We have maximum vitality. Indicated by the purple heart now around us, and we in fact have to get it, or the, uh, or we're not allowed to advance the game any further. Also, before I go on, since we'll probably never talk about him again, he's voiced by, if I can pull it up real quick, he's voiced by, very professional, I know, I know, Grant Albrecht, who, not... I, I wouldn't say, for what I play, not on the radar too much, but he is Balder in Bayonetta 1 and 2, which I think is a cool little connection, going from a hack and sla a stylistic hack and slash to a character action game. I like it. There's some connection there. Back to more cutscenes. Nice kill, Travis. I didn't think you had it in you. It was rather... Exciting. Congratulations. You are now ranked 10th. 10th, huh? What? Do I get anything? Hmm. How about some cash? That should help you pay the bills. I'm not feeling the sense of accomplishment that I should have. So I just gotta do this a few more times, right? If you so choose, yes. And you will keep your promise? There is nothing the Association cannot do. And if I refuse? As the 10th ranked Assassin, you are now a target for those who want to replace you. Anytime, anywhere, number 11 could be right around the corner, ready to put a knife in your eye. So what you're telling me is that I gotta continue fighting. There's no way out of this. You set me up, bitch! Quit your bitching and get with the program. There's only one road out of here. No turning back. Okay, how about this? If I become number one, will you do it with me? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Come on, just once. Yeah. Dumb anime bullshit. In, <laughs> in pretty much both meanings. In the crude... In the over-the-top funny way in the in the lewd way it, it's got it's covered spaces don't worry it, it knows it knows its audience it knows what it wants to do we climbed up the rank we are now number 10 in the marvelous ranking list of top assassins we have nine more people to get through I think it's more cutscene time. Oh, nope, we just get a little look around our apartment and we get to go directly to a save. That's where I, that's what I like to see and I think that's where we're going to end it today. I'll be back soon. I'll be back soon. It's uh, it probably going to upload like twice a week or something like that. We'll be back next time we're going to probably take down number 9 and we're just going to keep chopping our way through the rankings so have a nice day y'all peace out